So you guys, this video could be very hard, one a very hard video to make, or it could be very fun and exciting. And I'll let you go, guys know why in a little bit. But first, we're gonna talk about what this video is about. I am doing an art collaboration with Sketch by Sketch, also known as Emily. We actually have the same first name. But yes, okay, so she is drawing my OC, Princess Arwen, and I am going to draw her OC, Olivia. Now, I actually already drew it, and you're probably wondering why I am filming this now. <laughs> now that's the depressing part of it. I already filmed it, the entire video, and edited it. And it was accident ugh, accidentally permanently deleted off of my computer. Believe me, guys. I looked everywhere. <sighs> yep. So, back to the drawing board. Literally. We're going to draw her character again because I even don't have the original footage. You guys, I decided I was either going to jump into this video painfully or I was going to be excited about it. And I think I'll go with the latter. We're going to have fun, guys. We are. I actually just found this out <clears throat> like five, ten minutes ago that the file was permanently deleted. She actually messaged me and told me that her video was ready to go up and mine had been ready to go up for a very very long time and it was just sitting in my computer and well <laughs> she yeah she contacted me told me hers was ready to go up so I went to go get mine up couldn't find it anywhere yep even looked in the trash bin in my computer wasn't there you guys I think a lot of like the, the way I'm saying this is partially acted. I'm actually, I'm actually a very optimistic person. I'm very happy. Or well, not necessarily happy that it happened, but like, hey, I get a second chance to make it even better. And yes, I will still show you the original that I did in the last video because I at least have the art, even if I don't have the footage. But I, I think we're gonna have fun. Um, last one I used um, watercolors in, and I think I wanna go for markers this time so we should have fun or I'm gonna have fun don't ask why I'm so excited about this I was gonna film a video today anyway but it was gonna be a different one <clears throat> yeah okay let's not dwell on that the future is before us the past is behind us let's do this her character I actually have her character memorized. I just gotta think of a pose to do it in. But I'm actually gonna pull up her character on my phone just to have it beside me while I work. Here it is. This beautiful character here, look at that. Yeah, okay. We'll have that for me in case I need it. I literally hear my siblings making animal noises outside. Oh my goodness, when are they going to realize that they're humans? <laughs> now, do I want to do a close-up shot or do I not? You know what, I don't want to. Oh my goodness, I said I was going to do a full body and I literally just started doing this again. Oh well, I think we'll continue with it. Or not. I see this going in a bad direction. But you know guys, we will always be an optimistic bunch. I think I'm going too fast. I want an interesting pose. I honestly can't think of one. This is not turning out. Maybe I should pull up a reference. Probably need one. I kind of like this pose. Art by Kayung Han Kim. I don't know if I pronounced that right. But we'll use it as inspiration for the movement because I like the way it flows. Okay. We're just going to start. And my sister made me some tea to calm my nerves. <laughs> like I'll need it. 
I will have Sketch by Sketch's channel linked down below and her Pinterest. She has <clears throat> printable coloring pages up on there that you can check out. They all are super cute, super cool. Um, I don't know if she has any other social media platforms. None that I know of. So she said that Olivia, her OC here that I'm drawing, does not really have a story, a backstory or anything. Um, so I guess there's not much to say about that. But man, she is such a beautiful character. Um, her style, the dress that she has, definitely right up my alley. And my sister actually drew um, a picture of her as well. So I will have that up on the screen so, like, somewhere for you guys to see. I do think I will like the quality of this video better than the last one. That, see, a second chance. It's good. It's good. Got a second chance. Already I'm having an easier time with the anatomy here. I'm going to stick that right there. It'll make my life a little easier, at least. <laughs> All right. How are we doing here? It's not perfect. I'll fix some anatomical mistakes later on. Now, in this picture, she's carrying a sword in her right hand. Now, if she were to be carrying anything with her hand, what would she be carrying? We could give her a long dress, like a longer version of the one she already has. I like to keep things fairly similar so that it's recognizable as the character. Might just skip to where the anatomy's finished because it's the coloring that's gonna be the fun part. But here it is and I'm going to actually probably have to refocus the camera. But I don't know. I'll probably refocus it at the end. I, don't know. I actually found a way to get it to not constantly refocus, which I think is so awesome because I, I'm just like, that was just a big thing that was bothering me. But I'm super excited now because that's fixed. Now I'm doing this with markers. So, markers, okay. Okay, I think I want to start with her skin. Oh, I think we're going to do R20. I usually use that as a base. Maybe that one was the, the darker one. I think I'm looking for R19. I was considering lining it first instead of going over the colored pencil because I'm, I didn't want to smudge everything. But, I mean, I'm, I'm weird like that. I feel like this nib is getting a little dirty. Don't ask why I just broke into an accident. A bit smudgy. <laughs> so I actually found a video editing software without a watermark that I can use for free, but it's so much harder to use than the one I've got, or at least it's so different to the point where it's a very big challenge. For me like I can't even find the voiceover option there's a voice recording section but I can't find the voiceover option so I don't know how to voice over my videos if they are time-lapse or anything like that and I don't voice over only videos that are time-lapse of mine I voice over real-time footage as well um, the reason being is because I have a, would have to have a mic recording the entire time and that can be annoying sometimes or it might not work out so just kind of my preference I like to work without having to voice over um, it's just easier I don't I mean voicing over has gotten easier over a period of time but it's just not the same as talking real time. So for her skin, I just used R19 and then R20 
for the shadows. Which should probably just be used as blush. I'll probably go in darker for shading afterwards, but normally I go in too dark at first and I don't want that to happen. I do really like how this is turning out. I'm liking it better than my last one. I originally wasn't 100% happy with my last one. And usually when it comes to art, I generally like to be at least 70% satisfied with it. Um, if I'm going to... I don't know, post it or anything like that. I don't know. Um, for me to like it a lot, and the last one was probably 60% happy with it. So, yeah, I definitely am glad that I'm having a second go. Like, originally, I would not have re recorded it because it was just a lot of work. But since I have to, I am being optimistic about it, and I'm actually pretty excited. I don't know if I'm going to need this under here. I probably won't, just because it's so thick. Um, I'm probably probably good for now. And if it bleeds through, I'll just use the next page for doodles or random stuff. If you guys want to see more um, collaboration videos... I was going to say collab. Um, let me know, because I really enjoyed or am enjoying this um, and I would definitely be interested in doing more so yeah comment down below if you'd like to see more of these and I also have other video ideas that um, are being added to a list that I think would be fun which I will hope to get which I hope to get to sometime soon but I will wait to reveal those. Someone asked for a hair tutorial or a video on how I draw hair. So that's something I think I would like to do. But yeah, I love, I actually really love drawing hair. It's one of the reasons why I draw. No, if, if you haven't noticed, I just love drawing hair. Okay, I just said that, but like, Probably don't need to say it again. <laughs> I guarantee you by the end of this video these markers are going to be all over the place. So I first discovered Sketch by Sketch on YouTube when I was on a trip with my family. Last year, sometime beginning of the year, um, I discovered her channel and oh my goodness I fell in love with her style for art like right away she does amazing art all of it is beautiful you guys need to go check her out i'll leave the link to her video that she's doing in the collab in the description um i probably won't be able to get it in there right away unless she uploads hers first if not i will just add it as soon as she does upload hers but yeah, and after I, so I fell in love with her art and everything, and I went to go look at her, like, description in, on her channel, and I found out that she was, or she had the same name as myself, and I, I will say I got a little excited there. <clears throat> I get excited about little things. Yeah, I do. I mean, there are so many Emily artists out there. It's probably no biggie to, that I just found another one that... Whose name was also Emily, but again, I get excited about little things like that. And her dress is white. I don't know what color I want her purse to be, but I'm thinking <clears throat> her shoes will be the same color as her dress. So I'm just going to go ahead and put those, color those in. My goodness, I'm horrible at feet. I go through phases. I'm like bad at limbs one month. Bad at face is another, um, yeah, it goes back and forth, part of, um, improving, um, yeah, but right today, it hit, sometimes it just varies between the days, like today it's, um, feet. <laughs> All right, I think we'll do her purse last because it is an accessory and I added it, so we're gonna get her main designs down first. 
whatever. Um, I think we'll start with these. I don't know which one. CGII00, zero zero, so we'll start with this. Yeah, I like that. And I think I'll use um, the graphite, the smudging of the graphite to my advantage here. Normally I wouldn't like it, but since graphite's gray, I think I might use it. So if you guys have been watching my videos for some time, you probably um, have noticed piano playing in the background or music or just <laughs> people. And I do apologize for that. I, um, I come from a very musical, my, my family's very musical. Um, and there is almost always piano playing going on in the house. Um, and it, it is actually really nice, but um, when people are recording, it can get in the way. No. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go in with this warm color. I feel like it would throw some things off. So I think I'm just going to continue without it. But it needs a pop of color. And I'm wondering what color I should do. There's so many. I love colors so much and I'm, I tend to be kind of picky. I used to not be picky. Like when I was younger, I, a good design or a good drawing consisted of many colors. <clears throat> in other words, I couldn't use the same color for, for another object in the drawing or on the character. I felt like it gave more variety, but not really the case. Char a character will look more unique um, and well made if they are simpler and they'll be easier to remember too. Most iconic characters I know are easy to remember. Their designs are. I should, I wish I knew what Emily's favorite color was. Something makes me think it's purple, but then something makes me think it's pink. I honestly don't know. I think I might go with the purple. So I'm gonna pick the R11 and the R16, I guess. They're very different um, in value. So we'll see how this goes. P4 is even lighter than the, than R16, so I might go with that one first. Yeah, I, I I like that. I like it a lot. There we go. I might go in with some pink for highlights. We'll do R23, just like that. And then go into the shadows again. There we go. That just added lots more saturation. All right. Time to go in with more shadows. Bia R3, Rose Beige. I feel like though they're all similar in tone and saturation. <gasps> I know how to fix that. I do. I do it with watercolor, but I always forget to do it with markers. I don't know why, but I never forget to do it with colored pencils and watercolor. We are going in with purple for the shadows first. This will add more variety to the color, make it more realistic, and make it more a vibrant. And since this leg is behind this leg, it's going to be in more shadow than the front leg. I was going to give her a background. I completely forgot. I'll give her 
I'll give her a ground so I can ground her in into some kind of environment so it doesn't look like she's standing in a white void. See so guys, I just changed the look of the face. It always happens when I line my faces. And I usually do not like the outcome. So you guys, I just I just love this character. All right, it is yet another new day, and the sun is, oh, by the way, all this paint on my hand, um, I was doing some painting today, um, the big kind of painting, I was painting a wall, lots of walls, okay, so, that's why I paint all over my hands, I haven't showered yet, after quite a few hours of letting it sit, I am seeing things I would like to change, so... I'm gonna add more dimension to the dress here. Render it out a little more. We'll take R19, barely beige, and blend this out. And now I want to give her a background because I just really want to give her a background. We'll see how this turns out. Um, so there's that one. I guess she'd have another behind her. I don't know if this looks right. <laughs> I'm gonna get a darker gray to fill in. really nice. I knew someone would start playing piano when I was recording. <laughs> Honestly, I should know the date, but I don't. Well guys, I think that's that. This was so much fun. Yeah, she, M Sketch by Sketch, a while back asked me, if, or offered to draw me a picture, and I asked her if she could draw my character Princess Arwen and then I asked her if I if we could do a collab because I told her I wanted to draw, to draw her original character as well and so yeah that's kind of how it all started how it happened and I really enjoyed this I cannot wait to see um, her drawing of my character Arwen Arwen's one of my favorite OCs uh, I love her designs. She's also one of my oldest OCs, I believe. So yeah, definitely go check her account out, guys. I will leave her YouTube channel linked below and her Pinterest as well. So I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye!